Hey YouTube, Bando Chart here. And uh, behind me, you're gonna see three types of lights. These lights that are right here over my shoulder. I wanna talk with you about them. Here on the left, we have a standard T5. These are three uh, fluorescent bulbs with some reflective material that has been running on my, on my 60 gallon for quite some time now. In the middle, I have a Beamswork, Beamswork LED. Uh, very efficient, actually uses less watts less wattage than the other two options. And on my right, I have a brand new technology that has not been released to the market that was actually mentioned in a video when I went to go visit Nolan's Aquarium down in San, uh, San Pedro, California. And what it is composed of is a type of chip that takes uh, light and blends it so you end up with a blended full spectrum as opposed to something like, let's say, an LED which will have reds and blues and greens but they're in separate diodes or separate chips and so you uh, it's not really a blended technology where this is blended and as a result it uh, it is more similar to what you get with natural light or sunshine and supposedly has a better overall influence on the behavior of the fish the color of the fish and the breeding of the fish I'm going to try all three of them on the 60. Let's see how they look. So here's the T5, a uh, fluorescent light technology. You can see it's very adequate, and it's appeared in all the videos on this 60. Here's Nolan's light and uh, from Nolan's Aquarium, the full spectrum, a special chip technology. And here is the LED, Beamswork LED full spectrum. Let's take a look at them on a side-by-side, uh, -side. starting with the T5. Here's the T5, and let's see how it compares to Nolan's light. You can see Nolan's is pretty bright, and here is the LED. So which of those three was your favorite? I mean, with the LED, you do get a bit of a shimmer. You can see in the background here, you do get a little bit of a shimmering going on in the water. Some people like that, some people might not. It's reflecting off of the surface of the water. And also with the LED, of course, you get the different colors broken up into different diodes. So it's not quite as, uh, as sun-like as the system that is being offered by uh, Nolan. Uh, now, that, that lighting system that Nolan is offering Apparently it is a chip that is happens to be encased in a tube, but it's not really a traditional fluorescent bulb. And it's actually a technology that was developed in the movie industry so that they could shoot daytime, you know, outside type photography and film, even though it's nighttime, but when they light it this way, it appears as if the shot is occurring in daylight. And so it does, uh, it, it provides a full spectrum and apparently the fish behave differently under it. They have more breeding activity and uh, they also claim to have better colors and better health because of the full uh, spectrum. That is something of course that uh, would have to be tested over time. Uh, at this point really all I'm doing is showing you the way these different lights look and you can then decide which one appeals to you the most. If you're interested in Nolan's lights, I'll put a link below in the phone number. The way it is packaged in that, in that fixture, you would have to um, have it inside of a canopy, you know, hanging from the top of a canopy to really make it function. Uh, I'm sure down the road they may include a, a sort of T5, T8 type of a um, uh, enclosed uh, system that you can just lay on top of an aquarium if you want to. Uh, so it does use a little bit more wattage, I think uh, 25, 30 watts, I believe, compared to LEDs, which use almost nothing. And the T5s, I think, are sort of in the same ballpark for wattage usage. So you're going to end up uh, uh, paying as much in electricity for Nolan's lights as you would as a T5. Uh, the LED, of course, is the least expensive uh, in that sense. But at any rate, those are the three. Uh, comment below, let me know which ones of the three uh, was your favorite. Um, I would certainly recommend Nolan's lights in a, in a taller, deeper aquarium. Um, they were um, 
almost too bright for an aquarium this uh, of this height. Uh, maybe if I tested it on the 100 or if I was to set up, let's say, a much taller discus tank or something, I would uh, definitely go with something like uh, Nolan's lights because of the um, just the amount of intensity of light. The, um, the What I have on it right now is the beams work, and as you can see, it's doing a... Uh, a very very good job of lighting an aquarium this size so uh, you know just different factors to keep in mind when you when you uh, get lighting um, you know both uh, initial cost and cost to run over time uh, I've become a bit uh, uh, you know biased towards the beams work lights uh, because of my experience uh, but um, this Nolan light could be something very very special especially for those of you who breed and uh, want to uh, have fish be as productive in that way as they can be. So, uh, and also he says there are health benefits to being under a, a more blended full spectrum. So let's see, let's see how that, how that bears out. Thank you, Nolan, for uh, the light, for me to test it out here. I appreciate that. And uh, I thank my youngest daughter for the Beamswork LED, which was a Christmas present. Thank you, Mallory. And uh, that's all for me. Be sure to uh, rate, sub, comment below, and uh, you are appreciated, my friend.